Hello everyone, welcome to a no fluff design tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a custom t-shirt design in any style and any color that you'd like to for absolutely free. We're not going to be using any sort of paid program such as Sketch or Photoshop or Illustrator, nothing like that. Everything that you are going to see here today can be done inside of Figma. Now if you're not familiar with Figma, it is a 100% free design program. It's very similar to Sketch, so if you're familiar with Sketch, then Figma should look pretty familiar to you. Uh, it works in much the same way, except what I love about Figma is that it exists entirely online. So you don't have to download any software and your projects are going to be available remotely no matter where you are. So let's get started. We're going to make a t-shirt that looks like this and then we'll also make another variety so you can see how basically that works. What I've done is go on Google image and I've searched blank t-shirt transparent. You know, you could also search white t-shirt transparent, you know, whatever you want. But the, the goal here is to find a blank t-shirt and for the background to be non-existent. Okay, so this is a good example that I've already isolated. As you can see, when I click and drag around, I'm not seeing anything besides the t-shirt just hovering there. A bad example would be probably this one here. Uh, you can see how there's that white background around it. You'll see why later, but that isn't going to work for this example. So don't pick one like that. Just go ahead and pick one like this. Okay, we're just going to right click, copy image, head over to Figma and Command V. Now you should see the t-shirt come up there and you're going to need to duplicate the t-shirt. So option and drag and make a second copy of that t-shirt. Eventually these two t-shirts are going to be overlapped, thus creating the illusion of one single t-shirt, but you're going to need two because one will act as a mask and as a color layer and the other one will act as the texture, okay? And you're gonna kinda of sandwich the image in between. So that's where we're headed. All right, so I've gone ahead and moved that red t-shirt over to the side. We just need to focus on these white t-shirts now. Uh, let's take a rectangle and draw that over the left t-shirt, okay? And I'm gonna select the t-shirt and the rectangle and I'm going to Command G group them together. Now I'm going to use uh, the command key to isolate just one of the two layers and that's in this case going to be the t-shirt layer. So I'll command and then click on the t-shirt layer. Then without clicking anything else, I'll right click and I'll use as mask. Now you can see that this rectangle is the direct child of the t-shirt and will be, it will be kind of taking the shape of the t-shirt. Awesome. Now that I click away, we've got uh, our gray t-shirt. And if you want to change the color of this t-shirt, you can change the color of this rectangle. So in this case, it's gray, but we can make it, say, this blue color. All right, so that's how you change the color of the t-shirt, and you're always going to be changing the color that way. All right, so for this other t-shirt, we're going to be using it as the texture. And as I move it over, I can see that I'll need to Command X, Command V in order to bring that on top of the other layer. And now we're ready to move on. So the next step is to make sure that that second t-shirt is selected. Okay, so we're going to come over here to the right hand panel and where you see layer, you'll see a setting called pass through. And we're going to change that to multiply. Okay, so this t-shirt has been set to multiply and you can see that it creates this effect where you actually get to see the blue layer beneath and also the folds that make up the texture layer there. All right, that's awesome. That's exactly what we wanted to do. And all we're missing now is an image. Now this is great, so I'm just going to bring in an image that I've uh, I brought on my desktop for this tutorial. And I'm going to move that on top of the t-shirt wherever I want. And you can kind of see that this is below, but if I Command X, Command V, uh, again I've brought that to the front, and there is our t-shirt. Okay, awesome. And all that's left to do is just to select everything and Command G, and now I've got one solid group with my t-shirt. Now the great thing about this method is that it works for any t-shirt color and any t-shirt graphic, not just blue t-shirts with my buddy John on the front. So let's go ahead and do another example just to make that clear. We're gonna just drag over and copy that t-shirt and this is the one we'll modify to have a Netflix logo on it, okay? So let's copy that image, come back over, Command V, and we're going to shrink that way down because we're dealing with something too large. All right, now I'm going to take this Netflix logo, place it approximately on the t-shirt where I want, 
I'm going to drag it into that group. Okay, so I've got this group and this is where the John logo is. So I'm just gonna take that image and put it right where John's logo is and delete John's logo. Awesome, now I've got a Netflix t-shirt. And this is a little bit difficult on the eyes, so I will take that rectangle and make it uh, into a slightly different color. This isn't a gorgeous t-shirt, but it is a functional t-shirt. All right, so there's a yellow Netflix t-shirt. And let's do one more example. Okay, in this next example, we're not gonna just, you know, place a graphic in the, ch in the center of the chest, but rather we're gonna use a graphic that's gonna cover the entire t-shirt. I'm sure we've all seen things like that. So let's go ahead and take that and option drag and create a new one. And I've found a really delectable picture of a very fake looking burger. And <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and paste that image here. All right, and this is gonna be the graphic for the whole t-shirt. So this time is gonna look a little bit different than the previous times because we're not gonna be using a smaller graphic that fits nicely onto the chest of the t-shirt. Rather, we're gonna be using a larger graphic that's gonna to need to take advantage of the mask that we created in order to cover the whole t-shirt without bleeding out onto the sides. So rather than placing it where that Netflix logo is, this time we're gonna to wanna to be placing it where the yellow rectangle is, the one that's making this t-shirt have that yellow color. I'm just gonna drag that in right on top of where that rectangle is. We do not see it, but now that I have it selected, I'm gonna use the shift and arrow keys to kind of move it over. All right, so I'm moving that t-shirt, uh, sorry, that burger over, and I'll move it all the way over into the center of the t-shirt. Isn't that a delicious little t-shirt? I can then delete that Netflix image and I've got a burger t-shirt as well. So that's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial. If you'd like to see textual step-by-step -step instructions of what you've learned today, visit the link in the description. You'll also see when you visit that link, a way that you can download this exact file that you've seen me work on today and use it for your own design needs. If you liked this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.